rainwater and another influx of storms coming down. Water there is the area blocked off, and right here we see someone getting stuck. Right here, what we've been saying all morning turn around, don't drown, turn around, don't get stuck. If you can't see the bottom of your tires, don't drive through the water. What's going on right now, Jay? It's going out in my car right now. My name is Jerry. My computer system is shutting down in my car right now. This gentleman says that his computer system in his car is shutting down right now. If you want to, my computer system. Shutting down in my vehicle right now from the water damage. So you guys need I help. Use my buttons. Look, my system is shutting down. Water damage. Where were you guys trying to go to? We were trying to go and find food at a store. They were, were trying to go and find down. food at a store. We can't even get money out no cars or nothing, man. Gotcha. We out here, we, man, we in trouble. Gotcha. We hungry. We need food. We don't have nothing. We have, we have gotcha. cash and things. We can't even get money off our cars on ATM machines. Down. They're saying they can't even Everything. get cash off their cars from ATM machines. There's no gas. There's nothing going on. People, people are trying to call 911 right now just so they can right help. Now, They're trying to feed their babies right now. So this is what's going on. Meaning that if you are here, right. you guys need to right. stay inside. Stay inside, right. Janae. Guys, this is only some of the debris that's happened with trees falling down because of Hurricane Laura. And this is some light flooding that seems to be happening City. What's going on right now is there is not a lot of rain or a lot of wind anymore, but as you can see behind me, that doesn't mean that we're out of the neck of the woods yet. This is a billboard that ended up falling over because of Hurricane Laura. Now, surprisingly, a lot of people are out after the hurricane. If you kind of look around here, there's a lot of people that are driving now. When I was talking to some folks, they were like, well, it's done now. So they feel like that it is safe and they're going back and doing their everyday activities. All right, Jaden, I know you said that the rain has stopped for now, but those down power lines are still out, which could still be a hazard, which is why people need to stay home. Yes, so the power lines are still out. EMS crews are back. We were told that NATCOM 911 emergency is back up. Um, while we were driving through, we saw some people or uh, some EMS workers going through trying to pick up those lines now, and they're trying to push out alerts through their app by telling people Guys, we are out here in Natchitoches where, as you can see behind me, there are strong winds, really strong winds that are picking up, carrying debris that's going. We actually just saw a tree that actually ended up falling. And as we were coming in from I-49, we noticed that there were power outages at gas stations, power outages at stores, power outages at restaurants. We didn't see a lot of people on the road, which is good because we don't want people on the road. The city of Natchitoches is actually encouraging everyone, please stay inside if you can weather this storm. There's no telling how long it's going to last. Sadly, because of COVID-19, shelters are not available. People are encouraged, if you have to evacuate, to go to a family or friends. But good morning, Jeanne. Yes, and as you can see behind me, this is one power line that actually ended up falling. And it's actually a dangerous situation because, as you can see, it's actually in water, which isn't good. We're on the campus of Northwestern, where we actually just saw some crews out here. I don't know if they're inside to help out with anything that might be a power outage or anything else that might be going on, but it's just to reiterate again that you should stay inside if you want to stay safe. It's not good to be out here on the roads. Have you seen any cars going through this? I mean, we see it all the time. We see cars going through these hazardous positions and we're looking at them like, guys, why are you doing this? You always say turn around, don't drown is something we've been reiterating. If the water is so high, you can barely get through it anyway. Exactly. And it, like there's a car coming right now. I've noticed that there are people who are just, I don't know if it's because we're waking up in the morning, but there's cars right now who people on the road and they're driving underneath these power lines. So guys, if you can try to stay inside, the city is encouraging. If you have to go outside, only let it be for an emergency. NBC 6's Jade Jackson was there and has an update on the damage. Dan, Jackie, this home actually belongs to 90-year-old Dr. Thomas Boone, who is a retired Northwestern Univer State University professor. Now, as you can see, this is the extent of the tree that's inside the home. It's actually bigger than the home. Dr. Boone was in the home when this happened, and he was luckily able to escape. But as you can see, there's tons of structure damage to the home. Like right here, you see this big tree limb ended up falling right in the right in a as a, in a hole in the front here and there's even damage to the cars over on this side and you see tons of debris that's going
o'clock this morning when he was just asleep, when he heard a big bang, saw what was happening. Now, just to put things into perspective, I'm going to take you guys back here to where it all began. As you can see, this tree was rooted from up in the ground because of the windstorms. Coincidentally enough, Dr. Boone's daughter actually said that this tree is 40 years old or about 40 years old. And she and her father actually didn't like the tree in particular, but they never thought that it would end up causing this, this much damage. Now, Dr. Boone was inside, like I said, but he ended up escaping with only a few minor injuries to his arms. He went across the street to a neighbor's house who ended up taking care of him, and his daughter said he is doing better, but she grew up in this home and she is saddened by the damage. Reporting here in Natchitoches, Jay Jackson, NBC6 News. There is no more rain, no more wind as strong, but that doesn't mean that we're out of the neck of the woods yet. As you can see, this is the aftermath of Laura, or Hurricane Laura. This is actually in a residential neighborhood, and when I was talking to neighbors, they were telling me that they kind of slept through the storm, but when they came out, now they're a little devastated after seeing all of this. And you can even go over here. There's you know, one neighbor put her dog in the back shed over here that now has a tree that ended up falling on top of it. So we're just talking to neighbors, kind of seeing the aftermath.